This portion of CardioSource Video News is supported by the makers of Zarelto. I'm Peter Block for CardioSource Video News here in Chicago at the American College of Cardiology 2012. With me is Dr. Andre Lamy from Hamilton, Ontario. He has just talked about the coronary trial. Now, coronary trial is a randomized trial for off-pump versus on-pump coronary artery bypass graft surgery. So, Andre, tell me how it was it set up and the short version of the findings. Well, it's a large uh, cardiac surgery, tr surgery trial. We had ru uh, randomized 4,752 patients in 79 hospitals in 19 countries around the world. So it's a large trial. And we compare both techniques, and the primary outcome was a composite of death, MI, stroke, and renal failure at 30 days. Uh, so in short, I mean, we found no difference in the primary outcome between the two techniques. They are basically neutral, identical. So you say that the two techniques are even, but as you were discussing this, and I was listening to you, you mentioned also that there are subtle differences, though, between off versus on pump surgery. The bleeding rates, pulmonary problems, and so forth. Tell me a little about those and how um, that works. That's correct. For the secondary outcomes, um, there's some differences. Off-pump has less blood transfusions, uh, and also, probably more importantly, less uh, bleeding, so going back to the upper room for bleeding. Also, there's less the re respiratory infection or failure, and there's less uh, acute kidney injury as well with off-pump. So what about the revascularization issue? Because off-pump surgery tends not to revascularize as well. Do they need more operations for a second revascularization or not? Well, we saw also more incomplete revascularization with AFPOM. It was marginally significant, but it was there. And it was also an excess of PCI and redo cabbage. There were very few patients, about uh, 15 patients overall, but it is significant, so we reported it. You know, as I was listening to you, I was struck by the fact that it's a little bit of dealer's choice, isn't it? There are certain advantages of off-pump surgery, less bleeding, less pulmonary complications, less renal failure. On the other side, coronary artery bypass graft surgery may revascularize a bit more completely. But when you lump it all together, it is a wash. So let me ask you the question. Do you think all cardiac surgeons should be able to do both kinds of operations, or is this something that a surgeon should learn to do one or the other, and then the patients can get whatever they get from that surgeon? Well, I think a smart surgeon will learn both techniques. Uh, I think you have to individualize or personalize your surgical approach to your patient. The patients are vastly different. You can uh, go for a very large patient or a very tiny old lady. And uh, the benefits that and the complication that you want to avoid are important. It's up to you to personalize your surgical approach to your patient. So it's the surgeon's job to try and figure out what's best for the patient and Absolutely. do the best he or she can in order to make that work. Surgeons may have to do some learning. Absolutely. Okay, so. thank you very much, Dr. Lemmy. My pleasure.